Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another Glam Speak series. So today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly transform into Betty Boop for Halloween. So I've already applied my moisturizer and I'm going to go right into my eyebrows. So just going in with a glue stick, going with and against the grain to make sure that glue is evenly distributed and then combing it out with the eyebrow comb. Then I'm going to go in with concealer just to kind of mute out my brows. This is the Real Deal Concealer in Medium by Laura Geller. And I'm just going to be applying that with a wet sponge. To add some more eyebrow coverage, I'm going to go in with my Ben Nye Clown White Makeup and apply that over top. And then going in with my Makeup Forever foundation, I am in the color N140 for this look. And this is a very light foundation because Betty Boop was very light complected. So I'm just going to be applying this with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm going to be applying a second layer of the Clown White Makeup just to make sure that my eyebrows are nice and concealed, letting that dry. And then going back in with my Laura Geller Real Deal Concealer in the color medium, I'm just going to be concealing them dark circles because Betty Boop don't got no dark circles. So to create Betty Boop's crazy eyebrows, I'm going to go in with a small angled brush and my L'Oreal Lacquer Liner in Blackest Black. And I'm just going to be freehanding her brows. Now she does have very arched brows, very long brows, and very black brows. So practice this as much as you can. Take your time and try to make them as symmetrical as possible. Now going in with my Urban Decay 24 Hour Glide On Pencil in black, I'm going to be applying this under my lower lash line and on my upper lash line just in a complete circle and this is going to round out my eyes a bit and make them look nice and round instead of almond shape. Don't put any of this in your waterline because we don't want to close our eyes. We're just trying to make them nice and round. So just go around the rims of your eye. To set this liner, I'm going to be using this matte black shade from my Morphe palette and this is just going to make sure that that liner doesn't go anywhere throughout the night. Now to add some dimension, I'm going to go in back in with my Morphe palette and grab this nice brown matte shade and just apply this right into my crease and blend it out nicely and seamlessly. I just want to add a little bit of dimension in there. To set my concealer, I'm going to go in with NYX HD Studio Photogenic Powder. This is the loose powder and this is not going to show up white so that's awesome. Now on to these wonderful eyelashes. I actually found these at the Dollar Tree which was pretty freaking awesome and they just seem super Betty Boop-ish to me so I'm just going to pop those bad boys on and then I'm gonna go right back in with my liner just to make sure that my bands not showing and now I'm gonna go in with my 12 hour made to last Jordana eye pencil and this is in the color eternal white and this is what I'm gonna put in my waterline to make my eyes look nice and big now I'm just gonna mute out my lips because we're gonna go right in with that red lip color so I'm gonna be taking my Rimmel lip liner in the color red diva and I'm just gonna draw in my lips so Betty Boop has super doll like lips that it's like a little button lip it's super cute so I'm just gonna be kind of drawing these lips on and then when I'm done I'm just gonna color these lips in and not go too far out because her mouth is super small and cute and buttony like once I get the lips the way that I would like them I'm just gonna go ahead and color them in with the lip liner halfway and then I'm gonna go in with the Mac red Mac lipstick this is a beautiful classic red that just goes perfectly with Betty Boop's look so I'm just gonna be applying this all over my lips and not going anywhere outside the lines and then I'm gonna go in with the NYX wonder pencil this thing is amazing so I'm just gonna be applying this on the outer portion of my lip to make the rest of my lip blend into my skin to make my lips look nice, small, and Betty Boopish. To blend my lashes, I'm going to go in with the Bombshell Volume by Lash Blast. This is by CoverGirl and I'm going to take the number two side which is a smaller brush and blend in my lashes with my falsies and also apply this to my lower lashes. To 
to set my face, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's D Slick Makeup Setting Spray and just spritz that all over. So now onto the costume. So Betty Boop is super known for her large hoop earrings, so I'm just going to pop these bad boys in. And now for the wigs, I found this amazing Betty Boop wig on Amazon, as you can find anything there, and it's perfect. So I hope you guys liked this video, found it helpful. I love Betty Boop. I grew up watching her with my grandma, and so I just wanted to recreate it for you guys. So I hope you guys like it. If you do recreate it, please don't forget to link me by hashtagging glamour spook series so i can check it all out and i will see you guys in my next halloween video bye loves